Hey y'all, it's me again, it's Jasmine. Excuse me if I sound a little weird right now. I'm sick in bed, as I'm sure you already knew. Um, I'm here to show you how I did the Capricorn collage from last month. I wanted to upload this in January, but I just could not get a chance to. Um, so I'm making it up to you guys and giving you an extra video for February. My sun sign is actually Capricorn, so this was a lot of fun and easy to put together. Um, Capricorns are associated with mountains, goats, uh, more particularly the mer goat. Uh, they are an earth sign, but the thing with Capricorns is that they're supposed to be adept at going into their subconscious and using their imagination to achieve their goals, which gives them that very water quality. I did not want to make her a mer goat in this collage though because I didn't want to go too far and too obvious again with the presentation of it. I didn't make Sagittarius a literal centaur so I didn't want to make her a mer goat but I'm probably going to do a mer goat collage in the future. It just won't be part of this series. Um, I did give her some horns though. I thought that was a lot of fun. The horns are actually from an astronomical chart illustration of Capricorn done by Sidney Hall in 1831. The making of the actual lady in this collage was very difficult and time consuming for me. Um, I could not pick a face, as you can see. Um, I, end I did end up picking a color lithograph of an Incan queen who seems to be in the process of taking an offering. It's a really old image. Um, they estimate its um, original creation to be anywhere between 1860 and 1939. I ended up combining several different body parts from several different drawings of ladies and I came up with this composite green-haired goddess. I did throw in some flowers that represented the Capricorn like the water lily. Um, the water lily was originally blue from a drawing by Robert John Thornton but I made it pink here and I gave it I gave it an eye. I made the leaf gold. I also snuck in a couple of jasmine flowers behind her just to, you know, hint at my name. I ended up with this complete collage image. Um, my scheme became pink, gold, green, and cream. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a hand on her waist that isn't hers that's supposed to represent the hands of Father Time, who also happens to be right up there in the sky. This one took a really, really long time because of my lack of ability to make decisions, but I'm overall really happy with it. And I'd just like to say thank you again so much for watching the video and continuing to be my patron. I appreciate all of you. Alright, see you guys till next time.